today's little trick is how we're going to take our Halley Tech main halyard and we're going to save some weight on it by using a little bit of cheaper Halley tail, which is also lighter. Now, a key part to tapering and joining from Halley Tech is to first of all taper the Halley Tech itself to its centre core. We're going to squish the outer together. It's really quite tough because it's Technora and it's got a very, very tight weave, which is why it makes it really, really robust and um, hard wearing. But if you scrunch it together enough and get a little push fit into the, into the uh, plat, you can slowly open it up and tease out the center core. See, once we've got the center core out of the rope, we can then taper it and then we can consider how we're going to join that onto the Halley tail. Here's the inner core coming out. That was relatively easy. And I'm just ensuring that the, the outer is tight all the way back. I'm now going to put the outer through the middle of the 12 braided spec 12 in a and it's beginning to lock it together now I'm just making sure that the outer jacket is as tight as it can be so it's locked together now I'm going to put a pin in. You might think that's dangerous, you might catch your fingers on it, but it just sort of locks it so you, it can't move now. So that effectively is a little knot. So, we, so, so we've done the outer through the inner, now we're doing the inner through the outer, and that should be enough to lock it together. It's quite hard work to do this because, of course, the outer jacket is a really tight weave, Technora and polyester. So this is where I use my my palm. Don't get confused now, put the inner back through the outer. Try and untwist it as it goes in and it should lock together now. So now you know you're safe, It's it's got its locking mechanism. What we're going to do now is try and taper the outer now. I don't want to be reasonably lazy. I'm going to only taper it for a hand width. I'm going to try and pull a few fibres out just to be super neat so that it, it's a nice taper. This can take quite a lot, quite a while teasing out the fibres. I tend to go from the top, but I'm, I'm sure there's a more logical approach is going from the bottom because at least then you don't end up pulling out the, uh, the fibres that you've already pulled out. But uh, it, it seems to loosen up a bit when you start taking a few out, and so it's easy to pull from the bottom. I'm making a good Christmas tree here. Chop the uh, the tree branches off. And we're going to use the rooster pull fit. Easy splice pull fit to drag it. The outer core down the inner.
we go. Make sure it's firmly tight, take all the twists out of it and melt the outer back. It's gone. So there's your Halley Tech main halyard tapered down to its inner core. It's a spectral of inner core. Now we're going to get a bit of this lightweight Halley tail and join the two together. About a hand width overlap. Not a hand width, a hand span width even. Now, I've gone for the cheating method. I'm going to just put the uh, other end back through the centre again on each one. If you had access to both ends, which I do here, you could try and pass each opposing end back to the thread but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of stitching in a second which makes it a lot easier and faster my hot sealed end is a bit too fat Slice a bit off with my serrated scissors. It's time to lose the ends now at the centre of each of the two cores. The Halley tail core being a, a polyester core, and the Halley, Halley tech core being a spectral core. pre-stretched, spec 12 core even, super pre-stretched. My rooster easy splice pull fit is kind of my go to bit of kit to drag each one down the centre core. Dragging the Halley tail core down the centre of the Halley tech core is a bit tricky, but it uh, takes a, few, a couple of minutes to pull it through. I didn't tape arrive them. Now I'm going to stitch them. Make sure they don't come undone. 
I've not used a knot at the end of my whipping twine. I've just left it exposed so you can see it. And I'll just bear the end off in a minute. This is a little kitchen flambe tool. It's got a very fine burn line on it. It's just you can take off the excess whipping twine, burn it back, make it safe. your fingers. It's a very accurate tool. So there we go, we've saved ourselves a fortune. We've made a 21 meter main halyard with 14 meters of halley tech and 7 meters of halley tail. Save weight and an awful lot of money.